Hello everyone, welcome! Today we're starting with the Barbarian subclasses. So when you get to level 3, you have two options, and more, but two main options. You get to choose to be a Berserker or a Wild Heart. And Berserker is much better here than on D&D, because on Berserker you get something called Frenzy. But let's, let's have a look on it. So Berserker, you get Frenzy. Your rage turns into a frenzy as you release your unquenchable fury and bloodlust. You gain the use of frenzy strike and enrage through. You can also make an improvised weapon attack as a bonus action. Frenzy ends early if you haven't attacked the creature or taken damage since your last turn. That last sentence is the same as rage. Um, okay, but that, that seems very good, right? But we don't know what is a frenzy strike or if the rage is through and stuff, so let's have a look. Frame Strike. As a bonus action, make a melee attack with your equipped weapon, dealing weapon damage, slashing damage. That's because I have a, a great sword equipped, available only when frenzied. And, engraved throw, pick up a knight in your creature and throw it at, ta at the target, dealing blood healing damage and knocking prone. The damage depends on your strength and the weight of the item. Your strength also affects how much weight you can throw. Available only when frenzied. So, what's the, what's the big thing on here? Well, the big thing here is that we get to make an attack with a bonus action. So, if you, if you take that level 3, that means we're attacking twice as much as any other class in the game. If you exclude two, two weapon fighters, right? But here we can attack for two-handed weapons, two-handed weapon two, two times a turn. That's strong. You have to take a feat called, like, a Great Weapon Master. So you can attack another time with a bonus action if you critical someone or if you down someone to zero hit points also those other things defeat but just so you know how strong an extra attack is on dnd whenever you go into frames you actually get an exhaustion and exhaustion is bad for a character you start getting up getting panels but nothing here you just get the benefits so that's pretty amazing we're going to check on the game all right we're going to check what is that so, yeah, and now the flavor test here. Violence is both a means and an end. You follow a path of untrammed fury. Oh. Still sleek with blood as you free you in the chaos of battle, heedless of your own well being. Nice. Okay, guys, we got our Berserker here. And as you can see, he's angry. He's in a frenzy right now. And I just, I'm in a frenzy right now because the turn you enter in a frenzy. You spend your bonus actually, you can't use either of your new options. So now let's use a frame, let's just hit the guy. So my normal attack row, I'm going to read him reckless. Normal attack row. Yeah, a lot of damage. And now I can use the frenzy strike on him. Frenzy strike. And the nice thing is, uh reckless, that's the maneuver the barbarians they have. Um you attack, you you only use it, you have advantage on all attack rolls on your turn. But everyone who attacks you have advantage on attack rolls against you. But that's pretty good because you're taking half damage because you're in a rage or slash frenzy, right? So the next thing about these two attacks I did, both attacks got the bonus from Reckless. So that's pretty nice. So you saw here. All right. So now we're going to demonstrate their enrage through. And I think it's just a bonus action so you can attack and do that or the other way around. So let's pick this goblin here, this Zakru goblin boss. Now let's throw him at the war. Why not, right? Yes. So, with a bonus action, we have taken free life from free health from Zakdurog, the goblin boss, and a lot lots of help from the war. We also dropped the war prone. That means that if we're going to attack the war now, we have advantage. We should have. Uh, maybe not on Baldur's Gate, but the D you'd have advantage whenever something's prone. A prone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have advantage if you're in thing three meters. So we move here, maybe more. Yeah, it's not showing advantage. That's strange, right? But that definitely stays here. Attacks against a prone creature have advantage if they're made within three meters of the creature. Yep, and he's prone, and no advantage here because the goblin is not prone, and also same chance to get. But that's all right. It's a main minor bug. And then we can go ahead if you want and reckless strike something just because we are here and they are here. And we missed. 88% of chance. That's XCOM coming to my mind again. 
Ah, the missing shots. But yeah, that was a Berserker. Pretty nice, right? right? Now the Wild Heart Barbarian. So the Wild Heart Barbarian is actually the um, Totem Barbarian. You know, usually people would get the Bear uh, bear Totem Barbarian. So the Bear Barbarians. So that's so you get resistance to everything. But Larian did a good job here on fleshing out the other animals and giving like special attacks, special moves to each one. So when you get that, you get one feature, speak with animals. I like that, you know, that's a, I like to speak with animals. And if you're playing to solo the game, now you can speak with animals while you solo the game. And Barbarian is a good class to solo the game, in my opinion. Uh, now let's see. Choose your best your bestial heart. You can change your heart whenever you level up. So that's nice. That gives us flexibility. You can try it up. You know, yeah, you, you're going to be stuck with it a whole level, but you can try it up. So bear heart, that's the most popular on in the tabletop. While raging, you can use unrelenting ferocity and have resistance to all damage like psychic damage. When you're raging, you get resistance to blending, bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing damage. This extends to all damage but psychic, so that's pretty good. That's that's pretty strong. That's one of the tankiest barbarians out there. And now let's see what is unrelenting ferocity. You're stronger than you think. Muster up your stamina to heal 1d8 plus 3 hit points. That's as an action, so use it and you regain, regain some hit points. We're going to see that in game. And also, a nice thing here is that you get to choose piercings. So every animal has different piercings. And that, that's kind of nice. It's a shame that we can't have piercings with other classes, you know, or with like, I don't know, other subclasses, but well, yeah. Barbarians, the wild heart ones, they get piercings. You can be a wolf, you can be a bear heart and have wolf piercings. That just means that you like the wolf fashion better. So eagle heart, barbarian, wild raging can use the diving strike. And now foes also have the disadvantage on the potential attacks against you. And you can use your dash as a bonus action. That's pretty strong. Dashing as a bonus action is good. You could get get the pesky mages, pesky archers. And well, since he had the advanced opportunity attacks, that's pretty strong. That's a, that's a nice one. Uh, and then you get diving strike. So uh, diving strike, you leap down onto a fool below you. So you have to be on a higher ground, dealing weapon damage, lashing damage, and knocking them prone. You do not take falling damage. You must be at least 1.5 meters above your target, available only when range. So that's actually nice. I wonder if you can like. Just leap and attack anything, an object, anything on the on the ground, so you're just immune to falling damage. We'll see. Elk Heart now. While raging, you can use primal stampede and then moving speed increase by 4.5 meters. That's big. That's a lot of movement speed, okay? Usually you only move 9 meters, so that's 50% more movement speed. I would say that's better than dashing as a bonus action because Without spending your bonus action, you are moving 50% more. And with your bonus action, you'll be moving 100% more comparing to the Eagle Heart now. Uh, but of course, uh, that's only valuable if you have something to do with your bonus action. So you have to take a feat or something like that. And we get Primal Stampede here. Uh, you charge forward, that's an action, I think. You charge forward, attacking our hostile increase in your way. Dealing a low damage and you can knock people prone. It seems alright, but it's very hard to get people clumped like that. But we'll check. Tiger Heart. While raging, you can use Tiger's Bloodlust and your jump just increases by 4.5 meters. Yeah, you get to jump farther away, but you're moving less than the others. I mean, if you spend the bonus action, you're moving as much as the Elk, but you're not moving as much as the Eagle. But you jump farther away. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't really like this bonus. Now, Tiger Bloodlust. Lash out uh, some weapon action. So, lash out to attack up to three enemies at once. They each take half the damage your weapon should deal and start to bleed. Okay, that's okay. I mean, half in three, that's 50% more damage than bleeding. That's alright. And now, Wolf Heart. Shout out to Wolf Heart. YouTube channel, great Baldur's, Baldur's Gate free creator. 
So while rage you can use inciting how in your life have advantage on melee attack rolls against enemies within two meters of you. So that's pretty much the same as on um, tabletop, but without inciting how. Right, this this cool actions we only get here on Baldur's Gate, and that's a very strong barbarian. The wolf heart barbarian is very strong if you're planning to have several lots of melee allies. So if you if you're rolling Lazel and you're rolling with Astari on melee, maybe Kalak when she's available as a companion, maybe Minsk if that comes up, then yeah, that's good. I, I would have at least three melees. Me, my more barbarian, two more to get these, but that's strong. Now, our action is inciting how you store your allies' fervors. Each ally within earshot can move an additional three meters during their next turn, and that's an action. That's horrible. All right, people, we have now our wild heart barbarian, the bear well, wild heart barbarian. Now, we're going to enter our no, no, not reckless, we're going to enter our bear heart rage. I like the added bear sound, pretty amazing, right? Yep. Now, well, we have this action here, Unrelenting Ferocity. So use it and we heal by 1d8 plus our Barbarian level. Well, let's do it. I use it. It's nice. And I can use it again next round. So I can keep using this all round if I want to. I mean, it's not usually you want to hit people right <laughs> because well otherwise it, you won't kill them but they can see lots of uses whenever like your party members are cleaning up and then you can heal up to maximum if you want just keep healing every action so yeah that, that, that's okay it's not the best thing in the world but being resistant to all damage is great already okay guys we have our wild heart barbarian the eagle heart one we are perched at the top of this mountain we're going to enter a rage the Eagle Heart Rate. Nice. Very nice sound. I love it. Love the animal sounds on the rage. Now we can use our great diving strike. But we can't dive that far, unfortunately. But we could dive here. Nope. Must be two meters above the target. So wait, wait. Maybe if we can approach a little bit. Diving strike. No, no, no. A little bit more. A little bit more. Excuse me. Excuse me. That, nope, nope, maybe a little bit more. Okay, 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 we can, we can. Diving strike. It's a shame we can't get there, right? So, as you can see, it's very hard to use diving strike. <laughs> I thought we should have a, we should have had a much bigger area. It's crazy how far I have to get. I mean, how close I have to get used. So now let's do it. Let's get a good point of view. Diving strike. All right, that, that, that was good, actually. Tons of damage on this bugbear, and he falls prone. So yeah, pretty nice. And whenever you can use a diving strike, it's pretty amazing, I think. Uh, really, really nice. <laughs> oh, man. All right. And just onto a fool. So I guess we can't use them several fools at the same time. But maybe with that, there is a knight and magic item that whenever you jump and you when you land, you deal area damage. Maybe it would work with this one. But yeah. That's the ego heart. I mean, and you can dash as a bonus action. That's okay. This one is okay. It's very stylish, but that's okay. All right now for the wild heart barbarian, the elk heart one. So with the elk rage, we actually move faster, fifty percent more. So we hope. I hope we can move there and elk them. Let's now let's rage. The animals rage are always nice. Let's see what we get. All right, we got some instrumental stuff because elks do not make like comprehend sound to us. But look how far we can move. That's crazy. And we can use the primal stampede now. That's an action. All right, so we could do this and let me have a look. Child for attacking elk is attacking near range, so maybe I can move here and elk to there, right? Because to be an error so let's try and move here all right that that seems very good oh yes can't get the war oh yes look at that oh, come on come on come on with the goblin i can't get everything but i think that's pretty nice so we are able to move our whole move and then as our action we are able to move a lot more 
and the elk is already faster. And then when we moved, we trampled some people, dealing damage and knocking some of them prone, like this work, the saving throw of the goblin boss. So I'd say I thought that wouldn't be as good because usually people are not clumped, but the range is pretty nice. And I say that's a very good power. So that is an action, and I think that's a worthy action. Maybe not level 5 when we get 2 natural attacks, because then it would be losing 2 attacks to do that. But as a 1 attack, that's very good. And even then, level 5, we might find some... We might find how to do it. You know, We might find some spots where we can do that and be, and be happy about that. Very good. I like it. All right, now we have the wild heart barbarian, the tiger heart barbarian, and we're going to enter our friends. Let's see, let or hey, rage rather. Ah, a nice roar, nice roar. So now we have an option to choose the tiger bloodlust. So we can hit up to three enemies, and you won't hit allies, as you can see. We don't have three enemies here, but we're going to try and hit two enemies, right? I think that's all right. Um, right now we are fragments, okay? So let's see. And we hit one, half damage, and now he's bleeding. So bleeding means he will take two slash damage. Damage. That's your proficiency, okay? So that will go up of levels at the start of each turn, and has this advantage on Constitution Seven throws. So that's pretty good, and that will last two turns. So, this advantage of Constitution Saving Throws is pretty strong if you're trying comboing these with like uh, some kind of spellcaster. Yeah, that's alright, that's a uh, good action. If you have two enemies, you're doing half damage on each one, and a little bit more of the bleeding. Three enemies, that's a lot of damage, right? Half, 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 so dealing more damage than a standard strike. But I hope that escalates with the level, because level 5 we get an extra attack, so we get to make two attacks. And that's not very good to, to, to swap two 100% attacks for three 50% attacks. So I, I imagine that will escalate with level. So yeah, that's all right. But I actually don't think that's a strong barbarian. I think that's one of the worst options of the wild heart. But I might be wrong. Maybe that thing is pretty good. I don't know. And you can do that uh, all the time, pretty much. So it does not go on cooldown. So you can just keep doing all your actions if you want to. So now with our wild heart barbarian, the wolf heart one, let's first enter his rage, and I'm hoping for a big haul here. Come on, Larian. All right, that's great. That was great. Yeah, like it. So we get this option inside the haul, but unfortunately, shadow heart is not on our range right now. Unfortunately. So we don't get used now, but we're going to, we're going to get used next turn. A nice thing about the Wolf Art Barbarian is that, well, lone wolves are kind of losers, all right? The best wolves are hunting packs, so that's why these um, Barbarians focus on group combat. As you can see, I am in melee range of the Goblin and Raging, Wolf Heart Raging. So Shadow Heart, we actually have advantage. Look at, the, look at the Goblin Tracker, his life, hit points, and then 80% advantage rage, or advantage rage, Wolf Horse Prey. So if you have a group of Beelies, that's amazing. That's pretty strong. But to play that on, ta on tabletop, you have to be a pretty selfless guy, you know? You really need to, need to be there for your group. And the GM will hate you and will try to kill you at every moment. At least you take half damage from from uh, me weapon attacks right yeah Whoa oh the sweet sweet advantage okay now we're going to use as a bonus action i mean as an action sorry as an action we're going to use inciting hall so it should give all my allies a wing finger shot so we think the range of the abilities more movement right now let's see all right let's go from the start let's see how he does it Right, I'm vibing. Come on, come on. Mm, a little bit on the weak side, so uh, Larry, you should have you have to work more on your wolf house stuff, right? Work more on it, please. So as you can see now, if you go to Shadowheart, now she has inside in house, so she will move more. 
that's not a good ability, okay? That's actually a very, very bad ability. But uh, it's, it's balanced by the passive ability that's very good from the wolf heart. So yeah, that's a good barbarian if you're running a group of at least three melees and you want to be a very selfless guy. And that concludes the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, Barbarian is a great class. I think Baldur's Gate 3 Barbarian is much stronger than regular game because you can pretty much decide to rest and have all the raids you want to face any obstacle. And the subclasses are pretty buffed up comparing to what we have in tabletop. So yeah, great class. Very nice subclasses, lots of flavor here. You can see how much dedication, how much effort was put on the subclasses alone. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for the next subclasses. What would it be? Barbarians, we have some on the main game, tabletop game. The first free subclass that we had for a Barbarian was, I think, Stormheart Totting and then uh, Berserker, I think that's the case. So yeah, let's see what they do with the Stormheart Barbarian. I'm excited for that. It is one of my favorite subclasses on my homebrew. I, I think I fix it, I fix it. So I think that's nice now. And yeah, I'm hoping to see it here and now it's glory in Baldur's Gate because Larry has been doing a great job. Especially now they are going to revamp the reaction systems. Thank you very much again, guys, and see ya.